Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. What's up, everyone, and welcome. In this episode, we are going to talk about the recently leaked affiliate manuals of the Conti ransomware gang. Who is Conti, and how do those files get leaked? We'll briefly look at Conti here and the uh, the information about the leak, but the full Conti episode will be online in the next few weeks, giving you more detail about exactly who Conti is, uh, their background, the history, how they work in more depth. Our main concern today is really how do they work in terms of what scripts and what, what software do they use. So I'm going to give you a peek into the manuals I got my hands on, and then I translated them from Russian into English. We'll see what tools they use and take a brief gander at the different instruction files uh, they give to their affiliates to use these tools. This is not going to be a complete deep dive into everything where I walk you through every step of the process. I am working on a series of shorter episodes to walk you through that process. So make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so that you can be notified when I upload these videos. This episode is focused on the key elements involved so that you can review your networks right now and implement any modifications to mitigate the Conti ransomware gang gaining access or exploiting your systems. Who is Conti? Very briefly, Conti is an affiliate-based ransomware as a service family that encrypts files on compromised systems using a unique AES-256 encryption key per file, which is then encrypted with an RSA-4096 encryption key. Conti incidents usually involve the theft of data, which is published on Conti's data leak site if the victim refuses to pay the ransom. Conti typically functions as human-operated ransomware. It features command line capabilities that enable operators monitoring the target environment to directly control, spread, and execute the ransomware. This functionality gives attackers the unique ability to selectively choose to encrypt local files, network shares, and or specific uh, IP addresses. It was initially believed that Conti was being operated by the same group responsible for Ryuk. Later events indicated that Conti may not be Ryuk's successor after all, but two separate groups, as it's unlikely that one ransomware group would maintain two ransomware families. It's also possible that Conti is a splinter group of Ryuk. Again, there will be a much longer episode specifically about the history, how they came about, you know, what they've learned over, the, over, the, over time to get to where they are now. Let's talk about the leak. So a disgruntled member of the Conti ransomware program, an affiliate, leaked the manuals and technical guides used by the Conti gang to train affiliate members on how to access, move laterally, and escalate access into inside a hacked company, and then exfiltrate its data before encrypting the files. Leaked on an underground cybercrime forum named XSS, the files were shared by an individual who appears to have had an issue with the low amount of money the Conti gang was paying them to breach corporate networks. In messages spammed across the forum, the individual shared screenshots of IP addresses where the Conti gang hosts Cobalt Strike Command and Control servers, which Conti affiliate members use to access hacked company networks. In addition, the individual also published a rare archive named, it's in Russian, I can't read it, but it roughly translates to manuals for hard workers and software. This archive contains 37 text files with instructions on how to use various hacking tools and even legitimate software during a network intrusion. So here's a side-by-side -side of the uh, unpacked rare file. On the left, you have the Russian files. On the right are my English translations. Yes, I know, it looks the same. I kept the file names the same or basically the same uh, to not break any structure and you know, confuse myself as I was going through this. But you will you could notice on the right here, you have ru.en as an ending on the file, um, which indicates that this is my translated file. So all of the, what was Russian text inside has been translated to English, making it a lot easier to understand, of course, to non-Russian speakers. So just to touch on the idea of this being a windfall for the cybersecurity industry, in these actual manuals, we see how the affiliates should do their hacks, what programs they are using, where they create their temp files, where they dump, you know, hashes, where they, where they, where they dump the, the usernames and passwords and, and everything. It's all in these manuals. What we're also seeing is some actual communication between various members of the Conti group, including their handles. This is clearly not intended to be distributed outside of the Conti group and their affiliates. So this is a huge huge break for uh, um, cybersecurity researchers in trying to um, basically mitigate Conti and get them out of the way. 
Say, pardon me, but could you help out a fellow American who's down on his luck? Hit the road! So, the files. I'm going to go through listing all of the files that are in there and tell you what's basically what's in those files. So we start off with 3 hash av.7z. This is contains process management tools, anti-software con confrontation tools. Move on to the add users.txt file. It explains how to obtain an account within the domain. The CS4.3 underscore clean is the Cobalt Strike tool. Damp ntds.txt find is uh, explains how to find and extract the latest shadow subvolume of the disk. So they are dealing with the shadow volume of your machine. Once it's deleted, it's hard to do a restore. The domains.txt file is a list of domains. The Enhancement Chain 7Z is an open source software um, used to understand the installation situation of an antivirus software and fight against antivirus software. You have the Kerber Attack.Rar, which is the Kerber Roast attack script and the instructions to use it. We go on to netscan.txt, which is a file that is an introduction to using net, the netscan scanning tool. You have the p.bat file, which contains uh, queries to find out the current domain name of the network. You have the pentext uh, sql.txt file, which is a link to a GitHub repo for the PowerUp SQL um, project, which is used to quickly discover the SQL servers in an Active Directory domain. You have proxifier pe.zip, which is a SOX5 client. You have RDP ngrok, um, an intranet penetration tool, the ngrok um, download address uh, to where you can download it, and the usage, usage introduction. RMM client.exe, which is remote software, similar to TeamViewer. You have router scan 7z, which is the actual router scan tool, followed by router scan text, which is the introduction to using router scan. SQL damp.txt, which is SQL, uh, consists of SQL query statements that are used to attack databases and try to gain uh, control of them. You have a Russian file name, uh, which contains the MSF module usage uh, instructions. Another Russian TXT file which um, talks about uh, how to hide yourself and what the goal is. The goal is, okay, you can never be un completely anonymous. The goal is to blend in with the crowd, as the, is what they write in the file. So they say, you know, disconnect, or you need to try to weed out software that um, could be used later to try to trace you. So, you know... Um, use like ad blockers or uh, uh, disable JavaScript or anything that that can be later used to try to find your IP address um, or that may be tracking you, that's what you need to sort of disable. So then the LSAS.txt file uh, deals with transferring storage to LSAS. You have um, another Russian file on how to get the entire network. So it's instructions on how to basically move laterally throughout the network. Um, AnyDesk.txt, which is uh, um, gives you instructions on how to install, or not install, you know, really instructions on how to install it, but how to configure the AnyDesk remote tool. Uh, another Russian txt file, which is uh, creates, uh, gives instructions on to creating a scheduled task in Windows. Um, then another instructional text file on how to ping a network. Uh, another instructional file on how to sort the Active Directory from the network. Another uh, Russian TXT file, how to steal data and what type of data to steal. Uh, another Russian file, how to use payload to jump sessions. Another file, um, how to use Veracrypt to encrypt the disk. And yet another one, uh, which is a working manual to uh, deal with Active Directory and dom domain controllers. Then you have a manual file. Uh, then you have uh, a file showing you how to change the RDP port. You have another file of how to close UC or, uh, uh, or various antivirus protections or how to disable them. You have another file uh, dealing with the parameter versions for starting the locker on Linux, uh, Linux operating system. You have another instructional file which gives you the initial steps of the attack. Uh, an, an instructional file how to disable Defender. Another file that has a GitHub link 
uh, which gives you a list of, of different um, sources on how to elevate privileges within a network or within a system. Um, another file with instructions on how to elevate permissions. Another file on uh, how to access the server by hacking up the Shadow Protect SBX. And another file for collecting domain information, instructions for collecting domain information. <clears throat> we have uh, a file describing how to use Tor um, to, to, with all of the pieces of software you're using, not just the Tor browser, but how to use Tor as your proxy. You have a file talking about how to create a working script of, uh, actually it's a link to, um, uh, I think an XSS.is uh, forum post how to create a VPS server for penetration testing from A to Z, so every instruction you need. Um, you have uh, a file, a zip file containing the R clone, which is a command line tool for synchronizing files and directories with the synchronization cloud platform. You have um, another file uh, describing online data converters. You have a RAR file uh, containing scripts uh, for getting the domain account. You have another file for dealing with SMB blasting. It's a tutorial on how to do SMB blasting. And you have a, a RAR file containing uh, scripts to delete the Active Directory. And you have, again, a file um, dealing with some accounts related to the release of security intelligence on Telegram. Then we have a file that describes how to install Metasploit on a virtual private server. We then follow up with a file on how to discover the administrator account. And another file using CVE 2020-1472, the zero logon vulnerability to tackle module through Cobalt Strike. So it gives you the instructions of how to get um, that zero logon vulnerability uh, to be executed uh, through Cobalt Strike. And then uh, you have a um, instructional manual for installing Armitage on Metasploit. Then you have uh, R the R clone application and related files, the exe and related files. So now let's look at the tools. So the tools are Metasploit, Cobalt Strike, they're using PowerShell, of course, Kerber Roast, NetScan, PowerUp SQL, Proxifier, NGROC, RMM or Splashtop RMM, which is just like TeamViewer, ROuterScan, AnyDesk, FileZilla, Putty, RDB, Gmer, RClone, Tabot, Zero Login, uh, Exploit, the Armitage, and Veracrypt. And these are all applications that are either uh, have the full instructions for as its own text file of how to use it, as we saw when I just went through those files, or they are referenced within the instruction manuals as separate um, applications to use. <clears throat> so the main file, the main file is a tutorial listing the gang's attack steps in detail. The general attack IDs are mainly divided into the following aspects. Obtaining device access rights, learning about the company to which the device belongs, and then focusing on understanding the company's income. Continuing to penetrate the intranet horizontally or laterally by obtaining device access rights, deploying remote control software after obtaining multi-device permissions to prepare for subsequent attack operations. Scanning files in the internal network equipment and identifying potentially valuable files through the file name, using synchronous data software to return the data. R clone. For example, you, they're looking for things that, with the labeled accounting, bank 2020, 2021, insurance, terms, taxes, etc., blah, blah, blah. Um, all of the file name keywords that they think may be valuable to the company in terms of the ransom, paying the ransom. You have uh, them, them then deploying the ransomware and preparing targeted incident reports like listing the victim's official web address, income, business scale, and other information in detail. So the tactics they use include first scanning local passwords, credentials, etc., to obtain more device permissions. For hackers, the most important thing is to use the device to understand the overall architecture of the domain where the device is located and try to attack the related equipment of the IT department as much as possible. This is more likely to get domain administrator rights or domain control equipment. Multiple public vulnerabilities tend to be used, such as Eternal Blue, we saw Zero Logon, Print Nightmare um, is also referenced, and others. After successfully obtaining the domain controller domain administrator authority, the attacker can use group policy to issue malicious programs, steal data, and deploy blackmail to all devices in the domain. 
So in the upcoming episodes, we will dive directly into these files and check line by line what these bad actors are doing. But again, purpose of this video was to give you an overview of the files that are there, what software they are using so that you can look at the list of software and see what do I need to do in my network to protect myself against this stuff. And in the following episodes, we'll look again at Conti as a whole, and try to understand them. And in other episodes, we will look at all of these instructional manuals, or in subsequent episodes, we'll look at all these instruction manuals and see what are the individual steps they're doing to help you go that further step on uh, keeping your system safe from them. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe and smash the bell so you will be notified of future up episodes. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care.